need to clean up in here. Let's do a before and after. This will motivate me to clean. Amazing, 10 out of 10. It feels so good to do the full room refresh, like clean the sheets. I don't clean my duvet cover every time because I, I feel like I wash my sheets maybe like once a week. Then I do the duvet like every other time. Just feels so good to have it all done. Yay, good start to the week. Happy Monday, guys. Uh, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke and this is going to be a week of my life in New York City. We're having a lot of fun. We have a lot of good things lined up for this week. Right now, I'm just touching up because I'm about to head out to first run an errand and then go record my podcast. Today's also a really exciting day because we are announcing our tour on the podcast, uh, but it's already announced. So we have shows coming up, so get excited. We are coming to Chicago, Austin, Dallas, and New York in the fall and the winter. You could just go to the website galsinthegopodcast.com and click the live show tab, and that is where we will have everything set. So you can go buy your tickets. Please come, our shows are so fun. We always have a blast and we love getting to meet you guys. There are some meet and greet tickets available and then regular tickets, especially New York. I mean, come to all the shows obviously, but the New York one, we're doing like a huge venue. It's gonna be so much fun. I cannot wait. Truly a dream come true. Oh my God, I like have the chills thinking about it. I'm so excited. Just finishing up around here. Let's put on a lip product. Oh, Fit Today, this is a Cuts Tea. And these are Lululemon. They're almost like, they're sweatpants kind of, but they're just like a pant. And I find them super comfortable. I really like them, so. I'll be wearing these today to record the podcast. So clearly in this vlog, we're doing a lot of stuff. We are bouncing around from place to place and it's easy for me to get very overwhelmed, overwhelmed with life and responsibilities and all of that. And a lot of the times when I feel super overwhelmed, I go back to the tactics that I learned in therapy. Therapy helped me so much with learning more about myself and how I deal with certain situations, trying to be there for everyone in my life. It's just, sometimes it could be a lot and overwhelming. So I've been going back to those things that I learned in therapy recently. That also brings me to the sponsor of today's video, which is BetterHelp. So thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. So if you're like me and you're having a gal on the go summer, this is absolutely perfect for you because you can do therapy from the comfort and convenience of your own home. Not to mention, you could also talk to your therapist however you feel most comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist at any time and you could schedule live sessions for when it's convenient to you. I know a lot of people are in situations where maybe you have roommates or you have people around and you might not wanna be doing a therapy session when like people are right there. So maybe you would take a walk call your therapist or chat with them. And I found it's really important to have a therapist that is the right fit for you at that time of your life. So if your therapist isn't a right fit for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you're getting the same professionalism and quality of service that you're, you would typically get at an in-person therapist. But this therapist with BetterHelp is going to be custom to you with more scheduling flexibility and a better price, a way more affordable price. BetterHelp is going to be hooking it up for my viewers. You can get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp. Just go to betterhelp.com slash Michio. Once again, that's betterhelp.com slash Michio for 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. That's better H-E-L-P but I will also have the link down below to check it out. And thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this vlog. Now let's get back to the chaos. I have you guys just chilling in front of my makeup mirror. Just like a basic lip liner and then whatever. He's not like moving in for good, but my boyfriend is going to be like basically living here this summer, I guess. It's like an unofficial official, like, I mean, we're not moving in together forever. It's really just for the summer. He's in school and he's off for the summer. We like want to spend a lot of time together. He is going to be spending like a, most nights here, I would say, like a lot of time here, at least for the time that I'm in the city, because there's a, quite a bit of time that I'm traveling this summer. With that being said, I just never like made space here for him. Like every time he would come, he would like bring a bag and like, we would just like set it out on like one of my chairs or something. But this morning I just went in and like cleared out a drawer for him. And I mean, I'm like, oh my God, a drawer. But like making space in my closet, just everything like that. So that's exciting. I'm really happy about it. We've definitely like stayed together for prolonged periods of time before, but I'm just really excited. Like I love spending time together and you know, it's good. Like, I don't even want to say like test periods before moving in, but like in a way nice to do it. So 
he's not here right now but i don't think it's gonna be like truly every single night but i think like most nights because he doesn't live like around the corner for me so we were like okay and my apartment's probably like a better location centrally to like the things we want to do this summer yeah it's exciting just random updates i guess so cleared out that drawer i mean he like fully made space for me at his apartment i have you know like a drawer and like space to put my stuff there that i keep there and he he's kept some stuff here but i just i don't know i feel like i just have a lot of stuff I never really like made that space. I feel like that's really important to do to show like it's like almost making like the space emotionally and physically. I don't know. I'm getting deep now. I'm gonna go drop off my film camera and then we're going to head up to Danielle's do some work stuff. We have some like things that we need to get done. We saw each other a few times last week, but like not really like work stuff. We're both kind of traveling, busy. We're getting back on track today. Go listen to our podcast for like life updates and everything over there too. It's the summer of a lot of blush for sure. Last week in New York, we had crazy bad air quality from the wildfires in Canada coming down. So I actually ordered an air purifier. Actually, Ben has this in his apartment and he really likes it. He was like always trying to get me to get one. He was like, air purifier like it's really good you know whatever i was like i don't need it like the, whatever turns out that um i was wrong i, I admit that <laughs> it comes in like a few different colors uh he has it in black i just got it in white it's kind of big but apparently it's really quiet and good um and it was like under a hundred dollars i think on amazon and i guess you just order replacement like fans for it yeah i just need to figure out where i'm gonna put this but it's here i linked it on my amazon um, I guess if you guys don't have an air purifier, like, now I've learned my lesson, damn. Because I really do like to have my windows open and everything, and I live in New York, and I just feel like, I, I know for a fact, like, just dirt and, like, grime in the air comes in because, like, I see it on my stuff. So if I want to leave my windows open and stuff, I feel like this will be really, really helpful. Just dropped off my film. I already recorded it and I'm home, so whoops. I'm trying on some new pieces I got from Show Me Your Moo Moo and I thought it could be fun to show you guys them. They so kindly let me pick out a few items for the season, so I'll show you guys. Starting with this dress, obsessed. They, I, I love their clothes. I just, I feel really confident in them. I feel like their their cuts are great. They're comfortable. I feel good, etc. This little seashell dress, how cute. I'm not wearing a bra right now. I probably should, but I'm just quickly trying them on just to see like if they fit, you know? So cute little seashell dress. I could link these down below. I'm wearing a size medium. This is gonna be perfect for the Hamptons and just the summer. I'm going to a baseball game tomorrow, um, which I'm excited about. And I was thinking I could wear this. It's a little baggy. I feel like that's like how it's supposed to fit. But I don't know, what do we think? I do really like it though. Like I feel like it's just like a comfy whatever, but I feel like it could have been like you know, give me a little bit more shape. What do we think? Gosh, I got such good stuff. I'm so beyond grateful. This is literally so perfect over a bathing suit. I love a little summer sweater, summer cardigan, like an open knit thing that you could, you know, wear a cute little outfit underneath it. Like, I feel like I could wear this with, I could wear like a white crop top and white shorts and then wear this over it and it's like a fun outfit. It is like a sweater material, but it looks like a button down and it's various stripes. Oh my God, like that, this is a cover up. It's gonna be adorable. This alpha combo is giving art teacher though. Like I feel like like the, the funky art teacher would wear that. Are you kidding me? I'm obsessed. This was on the website under Moo Moo Weddings, which I love. They have amazing wedding guest dresses and wedding uh, like dresses if you are a bride or a bride-to-be. Like the stuff for like, you know, your bachelor party, like whatever, your wedding wardrobe. From what I'm learning, um, cause I, I'm starting to enter the phase of like, you know, going to weddings, and, like having friends that are getting married and stuff. People need to call it like a wedding wardrobe. It's a whole thing. This is listed as a wedding guest dress and I'm just obsessed. Um, I actually feel like I have my wedding dresses planned out for my two weddings that I'm going to this summer, but this is stunning and I love it. I'm trying to think if there's any other like occasion that I could wear this to, like a more formal summer party or something I could wear this. I love this neckline, like I just, I love it. Maybe I will wear this, I don't know. I could wear it to the wedding this weekend because I feel like it's fun and like, could be good for a beach wedding. Really cute. I was concerned that it might like look cheapy with the material, but I feel like it doesn't. I feel like it's, it's giving trendy in a good way. This is technically listed as a bridal dress, but I really do feel like I could find another summer occasion to wear this because I love a white dress in the summer but i love how it like lifts the boobs it's like supportive i just i feel like it's extra but like so cute i wore a similar style like their bow dress to one of our live shows it was pink different shades of pink and i loved it it was one of like my most like asked about dresses i feel like and i really like this one too cute 
This could be my favorite from the bunch. I think it's incredibly flattering. This is another, it was listed under the wedding section. It's like a blue midi with the leg slit. Another really, really flattering dress. This is really nice. Comfy too for dancing. I like the tie in the back. I think it makes it like a little more interesting. And I love this color. I mean, I know I'm gonna have more weddings and stuff to go to, so I guess I have dresses now. But also if I have, you know, like I feel like I could wear this Maybe not out in the Hamptons, but I feel like I, like there will be things that I could wear this too. I don't know, because I guess this satiny material kind of makes it a little bit more formal, but I do love it. I love this blue. That's my show me your moo, moo haul. Um, <laughs> thanks for joining. That's so good. Danielle's first camera class. I still have my shoes on. Oh! <laughs> We have a full day today, core power in an hour. I'm going to go to Trader Joe's, I believe. I have like not really groceries, so I've just been like eating food out, so I need to get food for here. And then I'm getting my hair done. Later, we're going to a baseball game today, which I'm really excited about. It should be a really full, fun day. We'll see what we get into. Last night, I went to Soul Cycle with Danielle. I took her to Cameron's class and it was so much fun. He's so challenging, but I just love his energy and he really pushes me. So, really love his class. Highly suggest if any of you guys um, are looking for instructors in New York. This is what we're doing right now. I'm getting some work done on my computer. Ben is sleeping, so I'm trying to be quiet. On the moon, it's got a cool power. Right, we just finished. I skipped the like lay down part today. I usually do it, but we're gonna go to Trader Joe's do some shopping. Just went to Essex Market and got a smoothie. It's like fruit, and I put protein in it because I just thought that sounded filling. We are back from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna show you guys a haul of everything we got. A lot of it's for like cooking. Um, we're gonna make some recipes, so not really anything fancy. I'll show you. First up, I got flowers. How pretty. Pink roses. Two bags of stuff. Two avocados. Gonna make like a big salad for like a lunch and dinner situation. I don't think we need dinner tonight, but for maybe lunch and dinner tomorrow, I don't know. Um, arugula baby spinach, mini cucumbers, carrots of many colors. These are also for uh, dipping in this, which I'm so excited to try. This is the crunchy chili onion hummus. I love the like chili onion crunch. I saw that they have it in hummus now, so I'll have to like, let you guys know. I do have like a few chip options here, but I figured also with these, that'd be good. And those in the salad as well. By we, I mean Ben is gonna make some sort of like a uh, grilled cheese and tomato soup, his idea. Briere, sourdough bread. This could also be for like breakfast. Peeled tomatoes. Oh, for the salad, green goddess dressing. I did get some pre-cut mango. We're really not like here for too many days. So I was like, all right, we'll just get the essentials, I guess. Always gotta get something sweet. They haven't had these for the longest time. They've gone bananas, the chocolate covered bananas. And I love these hold the cones. Have like one of them or two of them before bed. It's like the most perfect sweet treat. Everyone and their mother is talking about cottage cheese, even though I know it's been a thing for like forever. And I feel like I used to be grossed out by the idea of it, but like I like cheese, I like like milky things like this, so I don't see why I wouldn't like it. So I kind of want to try it on the sourdough bread, perhaps for breakfast. Also in the cheese department for like a snacking cheese, I got these Brie Bites. I love a Brie Bite. So good. Apparently if you warm them up for a little bit, they're even better. So maybe I'll try that. Some grilled artichokes if I make a cheese board. We stopped by Essex Market to get a smoothie on the way to Trader Joe's and they have such great like fresh cheese there. So I kind of want to go back there if I'm going to like make a cheese board because that would be really good. Chicken broth and tomato paste also for the recipe breakfast stuff. So we have eggs, feta to make like omelets. Also put like tomato and onion. In it so we got some tomatoes and onions by we once again i meet ben edamame for the salad favorite combo as of lately if i'm not doing an espresso drink i love the oat creamer and this cold brew so good last but not least with like a garlic shallot and radish i'm gonna put it away and then i need to shower actually eat something quickly and go get my hair done because it needs it and that's the trader joe's haul great workout this morning at core power too I feel really good My 
hair looks so good. I'm so happy with it. Um, I got a little bit of some shorter pieces here in the front. And by the time this video goes up, it's not open anymore, but I stopped by the Grillo's Pickles pop-up in the Lower East Side. They're having one. This is their first time having one. I like talked to the employee. She was so nice. Um, and I need to show you guys everything that I got because holy crap, I went hard. If you didn't know, I love pickles. I love pickles. You like pickles? Yeah. It's a personality trait. Yes. So let me show you what I got. So this is the actual food. They had like a whole fridge of food, but they ran out. They had like pickled carrots and pickled grapes and really cool stuff earlier in the week that apparently they ran out of. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not mad. But I did get this, which I know they sell at some grocery stores. I've never seen it before though. Pickle de gallo, pickle salsa. Very interested. And then I got a thing of half sours. Um, I actually like full sour, but we'll take the half because that's what I saw that they had. Happy about those. Really excited about the salsa. Interested to try. And then I got two shirts, a regular just Grillo's pickles tea. I didn't even get it like super oversized. I got a large. I could have gotten it like even bigger, but I just got that size. I thought it was good. And then I got this one, also a large. It says Grillo's pickles in the front. Cool. And then the back, so random. It's like a bird with a Grillo's hat on. But I really like the front. I feel like I want to get this one to Ben. So that's it. Now my hair is done. Um, we need to leave here probably in like two hours for the Mets Yankees baseball game that we're going to with New Balance. We're meeting them there. I'm so excited. I think it's gonna be super fun um, and sweet. Really cool. I feel very uh, cool today. We're having some salads for lunch before we get ready for the game. I'm trying the chili onion hummus. It's delicious. It's pretty spicy actually, but I really like it. I'm getting ready. I already did my foundation and stuff. Um, just having a little snack and then we're going to head out denim romper and then these are my new balance 550 they're like white sneaker they're really cute and i think i'm gonna do this red bag kind of like red white and blue all right i'm gonna um switch to vlogging on my phone but i will see you guys there i'm so excited we're we have like a suite and everything i don't know who else is there they said in the email like something about celebrities i don't know what that means but we'll see Hi guys, good morning. I've been up for a few hours now just getting some computer stuff done. What a fun time last night, wow. Baseball games are long though, they end late, so I feel like I went to bed late and I'm like thrown off now, but I'm good. I'm just old. <laughs> I say that, but like earlier this weekend, I went to bed at like 4 a.m., so. Today is, is today already Wednesday? Yes, because new episode of Gals in the Go went up. Wearing my merch. You can get this shirt now on uh, galsinthego.com. You can click merch. I wanted to show you guys they sent us home with some uh, goodies last night, so I'll show you. And I made my coffee, obviously. Oh. They gave us each a pair of these. These are the Lindor 2 shoes um, that they're promoting because they're like the new thing. They actually don't have laces. They like pull up and then they have like Velcro, which is cool. I guess they're technically like a men's style, but you, like it's unisex, like anyone could wear them. But Ben tried them on, they look so good. He, he got a pair too in his size, which was so nice of them. So I think they're cool. And they have them in cleats too. Um, and he was actually wearing them, like Lindor, the baseball player was wearing them in the cleat form last night, which was really cool. And then they gave us each a sweatshirt. So I think technically this one is Ben's, the navy, and then this one's mine, but I feel like, you know, I like them both. So. We'll see. I'm very, very grateful to New Balance for having us, and it was a fun, really fun time at the Mets game. And then today, in two hours, we need to leave. Ooh. It just, oh my god, they completely just launched off. In two hours, we need to leave here. Um, I have a follow-up appointment for my hematologist for this ongoing like health saga that I've had. Hopefully, it ends today. So we'll see, because I get uh, like my blood tests, basically like results and all that stuff back. So crossing our fingers, but Ben is gonna go with me, which is really sweet. And then tonight we're going to a comedy show with some of his friends for his friend's birthday. It's really a full week. Like I feel like I have an activity like every day and then every night, every day and every night on top of like just the normalcy of life, of course. 
but I'm, ha I'm really happy about it because it's nice to it's nice to uh, have things to do in the summer and to be able to do it together is really nice. So that's what's up right now. We're gonna have breakfast, I think, in a little bit. Ben is uh, the chef in the relationship, so <laughs> if it weren't for him, I wouldn't be cooking many of my meals. I feel like I would just be like, oh, I have a doctor's appointment, let me like have this protein bar. He was like, no, we're having a proper breakfast, like whatever, so I'm very thankful for him. Pretty gloomy day here in New York. I think it's about to start raining. Finished my appointment, I'll tell you. I have about 20 minutes to sort of touch up my makeup. Sorry if you hear that noise. That is actually the air purifier. It's a little loud. It kind of sounds like AC. This dress is from Revolve. It's so cute. It actually goes to the floor. I love it. I figured it was good for, it's actually like an outdoor comedy show. It's at Forest Hills Stadium, which I'll show you guys clips of. It is like the coolest place. That's actually where I saw Odessa the last time I saw Odessa before GovBall. Really cool place. I didn't really know that they do like comedy and stuff there. Um, anyways, I am just touching up my makeup because I already have a little bit on from earlier in the day. But I kind of want to put foundation on top of this because I didn't do foundation. This could be a bad idea, but we're going to try. I'm going to do the uh, Revlon color today while I talk to you about what the doctor said and what's been going on. Well, you guys already know what's been going on. If you haven't like caught up on my videos I've done, like I feel like so many health updates, whatever. But I guess if you're just tuning into this video... Brief summary, a gynecologist referred me to a radiologist to get a um, sonogram done. Sorry, I'm like holding my boob. A sonogram done on my boobs because I have dense breasts. They didn't find anything in the boob, but they found a um, inflamed lymph node in my like armpit, my axilla as they call it in the medical world. So then they were like, okay, come back in a few months, you know, if it went down. Didn't go down, so then I got a biopsy. The biopsy was fine, but they were like, we gotta keep you know looking into this, like what is it? So then I just went to a hematologist, technically a hematologist oncologist, even though it's not cancerous, it's not malignant. Um, and last time I went, I got my blood taken, we did a bunch of tests, and then today I got the results. So it's fine, the blood is fine, uh, but this woman who is a hematologist oncologist, like kind of like lymph specialist, now she wants, literally, the, this is so crazy, but it makes sense because everyone has a specialty, you know? She wants me to get it removed, basically. Mostly because they want to like test it more because they think that the biopsy might not have like seen everything. Also just to see, I don't, I don't really know. They want it out, basically. So now I need to go to, they want me to go to a breast surgeon. Even though it's in my armpit, it's technically like connected to like the breast area. So, so now I will be going to a breast surgeon. She referred me to a specific one. Um, it's not like, a, I guess, like someone that like does this sort of stuff regularly. And I guess we will see what goes from there. So I have to like go to this doctor now, like do a consultation and whatever, but it's not gonna be like a super big or invasive surgery from what I understand, just from like the hearing of it. And the really good news, like for me, just, you know, I mean, being annoying, is that it is in my armpit, um, so they like access it that way. They don't, as far as I know, and as far as I was told so far, they don't have to go through my boob. So in terms of like scarring and just like healing and stuff, like it's really just like, one, it should be just a, like one incision there. So we'll see. My hematologist, she's great. She was basically like, I like to operate like out of an abundance of caution. So I would say do this, you know? And I was like, I'm here for it too. There's no harm in acting out of an abundance of caution rather than like, let's just say doing nothing about this, like sleeping on it for two years and then like, God forbid there's a problem. So that is the result right now. But it's just crazy because this has just been like a whole ring brawl for the past like few months and it probably will continue to be now. But luckily it's not, it doesn't seem like it's urgent. Like I have to get it done obviously in a timely fashion, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be the type of thing that it's like, you have to do it like tomorrow. I have to do it like, you know, soon and like get in whatever. But also the surgery is like not, like I said, not super invasive. So I should be able to still do it this summer. So we'll see. We shall see. I'm very grateful to have access to such great care and like such great doctors and everything. I know that I'm very, very lucky for that. So all is good. And from what I understand, not every insurance you need to do referrals, but I guess that's my insurance. And then the co-pays are a lot lower. So the rate that I actually pay at the doctor is like not bad. Like I think it was like $10 to see the specialist, which is like crazy, but obviously like I pay for the insurance now, uh, but I have to get referrals from all the doctors that like send me places. I can't just like show up and be like, hey, can you like treat me? Um, 
hopefully that makes sense. I'm still learning that world too. It's all the fun of being 26. Wow. Thank you guys all for uh, staying on top of this journey with me. I know it's been quite a wild one. The foundation looks really good. I've been loving it lately, but I just wasn't sure how it would look like on top of the makeup I already had. I think we're going to dinner in the area around Forest Hills before. It's for um, like a birthday of one of our friends. So I'll try to vlog as much as I possibly can. But I hope you guys have enjoyed spending like this week with me because I've been vlogging with like over the course of many days and just doing really, really cool stuff. I also just put on lip stuff and I was sent these new Charlotte Tilbury lip products that I was gonna put on, but I just put on the YSL one just out of habit. I saw it and like, it's just in my rotation of products and I love it so much. These YSL uh, like candy glaze sticks. I just did a sponsorship with them on Instagram, which is just the coolest thing ever. Feeling blessed. They're so cool. Okay, this is what the dress looks like. It's cute. I am wearing Spanx because, you know, but I really like it. And it's a little slit in the back. Cute, right? I haven't used this purse in so long, but it's like the perfect purse for tonight. Cause I can make it go crossbody. This is such an Adina Michio look. I feel like her. Friday. No, it's Thursday. <sighs> Am I okay? Well, I got my nails done. I got pink chrome. I like the shape. They're just like an almond shape. I just want a neutral because I have a wedding tomorrow. I have a wedding next week. Weddings galore. Today has been kind of a random day. Um, my dad actually came to the city. He was here to pick Sal up anyways. Um, and he stopped by and he actually helped me make some changes to my balcony. So I figured I would show you guys the changes we made to the balcony. So you may notice that the rug is gone and we replaced it with this turf. This is from Amazon. I believe it was like around $70. It does have drains, which is more exciting. The rug, I liked the look of aesthetically, but it just, it was like, you know, getting really weathered from the outside and like unable to be cleaned and stuff. So probably not my best choice, but you live and learn. So then instead we got this turf and I like that it's not super thick. It's good. And then we moved around some stuff because I actually got a grill. Really excited about this. My dad actually picked this up for me. He said at like the hardware store, but I'm sure that they sell this on like Amazon and stuff. Um, I just wanted a small grill and we tested it before and it looks great. I'm really excited about this. Just picture me out here. Have a little, a little fun Sunday grill out or something. I'm really happy with it. It's a good outside right now it's like the perfect weather but pretty much this storage thing was there and we decided to move it here it's a little big so i'm not even sure if i'm going to keep it or sell it i might sell it and get a smaller one because i love it so much but it's just a little big for the space we're kind of realizing everything else is obviously staying and looks so great but i'm realizing that i kind of like the look of it with like a little bit more space over here like i just feel like it's chill more people could stand around i don't know what do you guys think let me know. That's what we're working with. I love the turf. I'm really, really happy with this. It is like windy and loud outside right now for some reason. So, well, that's just life, but it is. Today I have been getting some work stuff done. And then I started packing because I have a wedding weekend this weekend. Like I feel like I've talked about, which I'm really excited about. Did the outside stuff, got my nails done. And that's really it. I was supposed to work out, but I'm not. And I don't think I'm working out tomorrow either, which it doesn't sound like that's a big deal, but I didn't work out yesterday either. And I don't know, I just feel like I've been really consistently working out. And like, I definitely take days off, but I try not to take two days off. Or if I do, then like, you know, then I really got to do it the next day. Just for like my mental sanity at this point, because I'm like on a roll doing it. And I don't know, I feel like weird about it. I feel like now I feel like I have to like go to the gym, my building and like walk or something just to say that I am not for any specific weight goals or calorie goals or anything like that, just more or less for the purpose of like keeping a streak going. I don't know if anybody else can relate to this. I never used to be this way, which I feel like was my problem with fitness is that I was never consistent at all. I would do it, do it briefly, maybe, or like do it, you know, once a week, whatever, which is so fine. Different things work for different people, but I'm finding for me consistency is what's really working. And I just feel much happier and just like better. 
So I don't know, maybe I'll go for a walk or something just to like move my body a little bit. I've also like been kind of cooped up inside all day. So maybe that's why, but I like my nails. Every time I look down at them, I get happy. That's the best thing about having like good nails in terms of, you know, getting them done and like whatever, like looking down at them, I just feel so happy. And I know that that's like such a little thing it seems like, but you do look at yourself a lot. So, you know, 